I'm a truck driver. We just got a call from a fellow truck driver, and he's reported that he's been in an accident. He may be injured, and the phone went dead. We're not sure where he's at. I'm southbound right now, looking for him. I've been driving for well over seven years and I have seen so much over the road. One of my coworkers was behind a semi truck years ago and part of his tarp had come loose, um, pierced through his airlines, causing him to lose control. One of my other co drivers had rolled up one night on a van that had just wrapped in front of him. The guy was stuck in the vehicle. He had a laceration to his leg that had pierced an artery and he was seconds away from bleeding to death. That driver happened to be a military veteran and he walked up, everybody was standing around just in shock that this guy was bleeding to death. He was able to make a tourniquet and ended up saving the guy's life. As a matter of weeks later, the same driver had a vehicle cut him off in traffic. He ended up losing control of his um, truck and going over a bridge. drivers behind me went down from a heart attack and we nearly lost him that night. Um, I've been through one truck fire, one trailer fire. I was driving one night through St. Louis and getting ready to cross into Illinois and a vehicle just up ahead had went off the road, rolled, burst into a fireball. cattle truck roll over just up ahead in front of me. Like you guys see my videos, I have so much fun over the road, you know, and there's so many times that I'm laughing and, you know, I love what I do. But at the same time, you have to realize that you never know what you're walking into. Like, at a moment's notice, everything can change. I personally choose to carry advanced first aid supplies on the truck. This here is called a trauma pack. You can buy them online. They're about $20, but it has quick clot, which is a hemostatic agent, stops heavy bleeding, um, you can pack a wound with this. I mean, you can quite literally save somebody's life. I also carry packs of medical gloves on me. It's crowbars, I've got seatbelt cutters, two-way radios, just in case you come up on an accident, traffic's blocked, you can quickly coordinate and get traffic moving to be able to get an ambulance into somebody quickly. The number of things you see like this happen every day like this happens all the time out here when you're going into truck driving it's a wonderful career but you have to go in with a healthy respect to the road and you have to be aware that at any time you know anything can happen One driver behind me, he was unloading in the dock when I had left, and this manager said he got a phone call from this driver who stated that he had went over an embankment, had racked, he was hurt, and didn't know where I was, and then immediately the phone disconnected. 
think he was almost unloaded when I left, so he's probably not very far behind me. Alright, um, yeah, let me get turned around up here and I'll see if he's close. He shouldn't be far behind me. Oh, 
park vehicle or something, so that sounds like that's going to be it. He said, officers were on the scene, so I just found that out. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Yep, right. Okay. Yeah, I just got confirmation. I uh, asked Rogers. Rogers Police um, is out with him. He's uninsured. But the truck's, I think, inoperable. Right. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I'm trying to think of... I'm just now getting to, like, Bella Vista, that little... I'm trying to think what the closest truck stop would be. One thing I've learned in my truck driving career is whenever you're having a bad day, utilize your downtime to change your situation for the better in every way.